You said you're breaking down fights, you're analyzing fights, this, that, and the other. I gotta ask you, obviously, the big announcement this week, Mayweather versus McGregor. Yeah. What was your thoughts when you heard it was finalized? Um, I mean, I'm glad it happened. Mm -hmm. You know, the people want to see it, and uh, when a fight has high demand, you know, uh, you have to give it to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what's going on now. You might, it might not be the best fight, and Floyd might win by knockout, mm -hmm. you know, but... Uh, this is what the fans want to see, and if this one, they want to see, well, let's, let's give it to them, and I'm glad they're, they're giving them just that. They do have to uh, know that buying this pay-per-view, it's not going to be a competitive matchup, but it's going to be, it's going to settle all their doubts, you know, on the difference between UFC and boxing. Two different sports uh, with a lot of similarity. It's a combat sport, both are, but, um, you know, boxing is a skillful art that takes years and years and years to really... Uh, uh, reach your full potential when it comes to that. You know what I mean? You gotta learn the skill, you gotta learn the uh, reflexes, the movement, it's just all that. And for a UFC fighter to just come in to a boxing ring and fight the number one fighter pound for pound on your first fight right. <laughs> seems tough. Uh, but, uh, you know, the doubts will be settled come August. Having said that, does that put more pressure on Floyd to really, you know, kind of embarrass this guy to separate and, and show the difference between his level and obviously Conor McGregor who's making his pro debut. You have to understand that Floyd's Floyd, you know what I mean? And he, he's always had, he's always been able to perform under the bright lights. And I don't think it's going to be any different come August 27th, I believe is the day. The 154 uh, weight is not uh, significant to you? It's he's fought 154 before. I don't think it will be a problem as long as it's a clean fight. You know, and um, which I've heard it's gonna. It's, there's rules and there's uh, uh, there's a contract that they need to both abide by, where it has to be a clean fight in a yeah. boxing fight. Do you think there's anything? I mean, obviously it's boxing. All it takes is one punch. Is there anything at all Conor McGregor could potentially do to, you know, maybe upset Floyd? I mean, can he bum rush him? I mean, is there any type of strategy he has? Or Try and land one lucky blowout? punch. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it went by knockout. That's the only. Uh, uh, best outcome that could be for him is winning by knockout and with the lucky punch. But um, keep in mind that Floyd is a little older, but I, I still believe he is performing at a very high level. Uh, as soon as he came back into the boxing gym, I heard he uh, was sparring. So, you know, I think that he should be fine. You, um, you talked about how it takes, you know, a certain number of years in order to hone the type of skills it takes to be at this level. You know, obviously a lot of MMA fans are going to argue, well, you know, he boxed as an amateur and he's been boxing since he was young. Can you kind of elaborate on, like, what you mean when you talk about the dedication it takes just to hone this single craft and, and to be able to deal with the different nuances, the feints, the counters, the footwork, and all that stuff? I'll tell you what, I've been knowing Mikey Garcia since we were 14, 13, 14 years old, competing in the amateur nationals, regionals, and state championships. Um, I've been knowing Terrence Crawford since we were just about 14, 15, uh, performing and, and fighting in the national competitions. You know what I mean? This thing, this doesn't just come overnight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It takes. Oh, it's a long process for you to learn how to move left, move right, mm -hmm. and know how to plan three, four steps ahead. Yeah. You know, it's just it's a solid process, and it's not easy. And if it was that easy, anyone would become a professional fighter. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know how UFC works. You know, but uh, usually, if you are going to be a UFC fighter, you need to have some type of background that you've been doing for several years, mm -hmm. whether it's wrestling or jiu-jitsu, yeah. and then you start uh, adjusting or, or filling your arsenal with other type of techniques, but you have your one base, mm -hmm. which is the, just wrestling, and that's your number one tactic, or, or jiu-jitsu, and that's your number one tactic, and then the rest, just learn as you go, just to have it as backup. In boxing, you know, you need to know how to box. You either know how to fight on the inside, <laughs> box on the outside, or maybe do both, or, or be very versatile, but it's, you know, it's, it's a long process. You don't just learn that overnight. Did you see the sparring footage of Connor and I think it was Chris Van Heerden? Yeah, Did you see any of that? I really don't care to see any of that. I mean, <laughs> that, that's not going to settle any of my doubts. Yeah. I know that, um, I know what's going to happen. I know how long it takes for, for a fighter to be in the position that we're in. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, 